welcome to Old Bluff. I thought I'd revisit my issue that I had with the power rail for the hydraulics on my sawmill. I had some really good comments and input on the situation. Uh, some viewers saw that. That's my old buddy Dave at the Old Man in the Saw and Cripple Creek Sawmill. But, uh, thank you guys for your input on it. It was one of those fires that I had to put out. I had a customer waiting on his wood, so I had to get it running again. But uh, I want to talk a little bit about what I found out about it. Um, obviously, you know, you got to get it fixed and going when you're under pressure. But, um, as I finished up, I think I ran about 20 or so logs through the mill after I got it put back together. The, um, dielectric grease that I had put on there, it was accumulating the sawdust on there. And Dave told me about that, uh, his concerns on that. So I saw that, that wasn't going to work. It was actually clean right where the contact road on there, but you know it's going to be in there, especially with the pits that I did leave on there. And that was a recommendation that Cripple Creek made is I needed to take all of those pits out and get rid of them because it was a starting point for other arcs that might occur. So I cleaned everything up with CRC, and then I had some 220 grit sandpaper on a flat belt sander that I've got in the shop. So I had to take the shoe off, bring it to the shop and got it all cleaned up and made sure it stayed square, that the face was square with the side so I'd get full contact on it. And talking about the arcs, when I took that, I did not take it off completely when I did went through the first episode with this. I just sand it by hand just enough to get it going and put the, the grease on there. But anyway, I found that when I took it off that the cable connection was actually loose at the top of that shoe where it mounts. So I disassembled it, took the shoe off so I could bring it to the shop and looked on the underside of that cable. And sure enough, on that terminal end, it had been arcing there. So I had a lot of arcing going on. And I think that's one reason it was so bad on the shoe itself because it was bad I, it was they were probably a, i'd say a 32nd of an inch deep you'll see that in the video coming up i think i showed that before i sanded it but we got all that cleaned up and cleaned up the cable in and bolted it back on it's got just a button head allen wrench screw that holds it on so i cleaned that terminal end up uh, obviously clean the shoe up where it connects there and really tightened it down. I also put um, some Loctite, a small amount on the end of the threads, really tightened it up. So I'm going to keep a check on it over time as well. Um, I'm waiting on another order of logs coming in and I've got to cut for a customer. So I'm going to do those and then take it off and just check everything again um, after that's complete. So well, after getting back into my uh, shoe and rail electrical connection here, I have found out that my cable that bolts here to the top of this copper shoe is loose. I just got checking on it and found out. So that may be some of the issue with what I've got going on. I'm going to take this off and see if it's been arcing underneath there. So I've got the shoe cleaned up. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there has been arcing underneath. See those two black spots there? So that was definitely arcing underneath the cable. So I'm going to clean this up, put some dielectric grease on there and reattach it. I'm also going to go ahead and clean up the face of this. My old buddy Dave, at the old man in the saw, recommended I clean all this off. And another gentleman at Cripple Creek Sawmill indicated that these pits can cause uh, further damage to the shoe itself. So I'm gonna clean all this up this time, see what it looks like, put it back on. Okay, so I've got everything cleaned up here, cleaned the face of it, uh, shoe real good. Got all the pits out of that. And I've got uh, the back of the cable cleaned up. It was pitted along this back edge back here as well. Right along the back edge of this terminal. So I'm gonna 
Put some dielectric grease on this and a little bit of Loctite on the screw and hopefully that'll help with this situation. Uh, honestly, I feel like the arcing was coming from something other than just debris building up at the connection of the shoe and uh, rail on the side. So I've got dielectric grease under this terminal connector and I put Loctite on this bolt as well to make sure it doesn't come get loose again. I honestly think that is some of the issue that I was having. We'll get this bolted back on. So I've got everything put back together. And as I did previously, I made sure when I put this bracket on, I nudged it forward about an eighth of an inch. So that puts it pretty much even here at the back of this bracket to keep it uh, at the correct compression for the power rail between the power rail and that shoe now one other thing that i thought i would mention because i've just not thought about it in the past is when i use the uh, automatic transmission fluid to oil up the rollers on top the felt pad that goes over the um, guide roller top here, I always make sure that I've got ATF fluid on this little felt cup that rides on this bearing here. And that's just something I had forgot about talking about. But while I was at it with this uh, power rail, thought I'd go in and hit that and then show it in a video as well. So don't forget that. It's very important to keep that lubricated as well as the felt up top. And these are the little openings that you use to put the ATF fluid in the felt here for the uh, top roller guide here. So every time that I do these uh, oil locations, I get that cup down on the bottom as well. So make sure you take care of that. Well, I wanted to revisit on this situation that I had and go over what I had found and getting back into it and what I decided on to get it all cleaned up back to square one. Uh, I've decided to keep some CRC contact cleaner and go over that rail from time to time. Probably when I lube the machine itself, I'm gonna just clean that uh, power rail and the shoe at that time, maybe wipe over it just to keep a check on it because of what happened. And I'm definitely gonna check that uh, cable terminal to make sure it's not loose. And I wanted to thank Dave at the Old Man in the Saw and Cripple Creek Sawmill for their comments and uh, straightening me out, kind of keeping me on the straight and narrow, you know. But I do appreciate any comments that I get and I pay attention to them. So until next time, take care, be safe.